stocks are higher but well off their highs. Bob Pisani is at the NYSE. Bob, strange market day with uh, leadership in technology and consumer staples. Yeah, uh, very odd. And we're still not getting any real help from industrials uh, and some of the other laggards like bank stocks. So let's take a look. Melissa's right. We've got a nice rally in semis. That's holding up. And they have been in trouble. A lot of those names are down almost 10% in the last two weeks. Consumer staples, very defensive, healthcare defensive. And banks really not doing much. Another oversold group that's not really rallying appreciably. I think those ADP numbers this morning didn't help. Look at the Dow leaders. Of course, Intel, semi helping out. But again, She's right, defensive. Johnson & Johnson, Merck, Procter & Gamble, Pfizer. There's your leadership. That's fine. But what happened to all of those names that we use as proxies for global growth and the trade war issues? United Technologies doing nothing. Boeing's doing nothing. The financials are doing nothing. Travelers is down today. Goldman Sachs is basically flat. You see what I mean? Those trade names, uh, those concerns about uh, yield curve stories, all weighing on the market. You want to look at another global growth dollar story? Look what's been going on with the agricultural stocks and the metals names. Here's your basket of metal stocks, uh, metal commodities. DBB is what you want to look at here. Look, it's near a 52-week low. Look at an even worse one, DBA. This is a basket of agricultural futures. You can buy this as an e ETF. DBA is the symbol. This is at a historic low, essentially. This thing's been trading for 10 years. I don't think it's ever been at 17 uh, and change, maybe once or so. But you get the point here. It's really weighing on things. So where are we? The markets in the last two weeks? It's been defensive. Okay, we're in a trading range, 2,700 to 2,750, but it's been very choppy, very uneven, a lot of intraday reversals in the last two weeks. And look, when you got a utilities and REITs and telecom as your leadership group, you don't want that. We still need a better bounce in industrials and banks. Semi's a little bit better today. Melissa's right. It's called choppy and very uneven. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.